Greetings and thank you for the opportunity to come to you today. Thank you for joining us in our daily devotion. This week, we're talking about the ABCs of faith, the basics, the fundamentals, the essentials of faith. Today, we want to bring our attention to the fact that faith is expressed to the words we speak. We must speak our faith. The Lord Jesus taught us about this. In Matthew 17, 20, he said, if you have faith in your heart, like a mustard seed, you speak to the mountain. He repeated that in Matthew 21 and 22. You see this again in Mark 11, 23. He taught us that if you have faith in your heart, you speak to the mountain. So faith must be spoken. In Romans chapter 10, verses 8 through 10, the apostle Paul, he quotes from the Old Testament, from Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 11 to 14, and he's teaching us New Testament believers something about faith. He says there, what does it say? That is, what does the old scripture say? The word is near you, in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. That if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. The Apostle Paul is borrowing or he's um, taking the truth given to us in the Old Testament and applying it to the gospel, the word of faith. He says, look, the word we are preaching to you, what must you do with it? That word comes to you, but you got to do two things with it. You got to believe it in your heart and you've got to say it with your mouth, the word that we bring to you. So Paul is telling them, look, we have brought to you the word of faith. We've brought to you the message of Jesus. We've brought to you the gospel. You've got to believe that word and you've got to speak that word. So this is what God wants us to do with His Word, the entirety of His Word. Believe His Word and speak His Word. What happens when you believe? It says, with a heart man believes unto righteousness. That means when you believe, you're in a, in a place of righteousness. You put yourself in right standing before God. You're right in the place where God wants you. Believe unto righteousness. What happens when you confess or you say, your confession is made unto salvation. Salvation is experiencing what the gospel message is intended to bring. So when we believe in our heart, we put ourselves in the right place God wants us to be, and then when we say it with our mouth, we're going to experience the working of that word. That word is going to bring about its desire, intended effect or result, in this case, salvation. So we do that with every word that God has spoken. We believe it in our hearts and we say it with our mouths. We believe it in our heart. It puts us in the place, right place where God wants us to be, in a place of right standing before God. And we say it so we can receive the fulfillment of that word. With every promise that you read, do it. Do, do this. Believe it. Say it. That's what God wants us to do, to exercise our faith. Let's practice that. Let's pray. Lord, help us to believe your word and to speak your word every time in every situation concerning everything in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.